Hello everyone, I'm Miriam Fez and in this video we will learn how to install GNU Octave on Mac and Windows operating systems. Uh, before we install uh, GNU Octave, little bit information about what is GNU Octave and uh, why we are installing this uh, software. Actually, uh, GNU Octave is a um, software that uh, featured the high-level programming language of Octave and uh, Octave is a high-level programming language which is used basically to calculate or uh, uh, solve the uh, numerical computations of linear or nonlinear equations and uh, basically uh, gene, uh, GNU Octave is similar to MATLAB however it is an open source software and MATLAB is not an open source uh, software and uh, one have to pay for its license and it's a little bit expensive and, uh, in order to install uh, GNU Octave on a Mac operating system or a Linux, uh, so uh, we have two approaches. One is uh, basically through command line. The another one is uh, through the uh, installer or package installer. So in this video, uh, we will go and install uh, GNU uh, Octave through package installer. So. Uh, for that, let's open Opera and uh, we'll go to source4.net and then here we will type Octave. So if you type Octave, it will direct you to the octave forge and what you do here is just click on download and then it will ask you where it say it should be saved or normally it goes to the download folder and then here it downloaded so here uh, it is a zip file and you have to unzip it first uh, so let's extract this file since i already have uh, the one copy in the same pad so let's go i cancel this and let's go to the pad that i already have saved this So I open the uh, GNU Octave 3.8.0 once I um, extract the uh, download file. So it gives me this package. Since I already have the Octave uh, installed in my uh, laptop, so uh, it gives me an option of uh, uninstall. Oh, don't worry about this if you normally click on this uh, package uh, it will ask you to this simple window will show up and then it will ask you that uh, uh, continue and then after you continue then ask you to where you want to save it and then uh, next uh, and then you say next and then it say uh, that the package is uh, going to install and uh, after that it will be installed here in your system so let's check where it will install if you go to your application and see here are uh, octave uh, common line and octave uh, GUI has already installed if you uh, click on either of them either one of them it will come up uh, this window and then you can type here or you can go 
here this is the basically this is the common line of um, uh, octave g genu octave and also you can go through the uh, GUI and here it will actually uh, this is more uh, like a uh, eclipse that uh, asks you which file you want to um, insert and open and then uh, show you the common line window here and then some documentations and this is the editor that you can actually um, run files that later on we will uh, go through all these comments and uh, all the uh, approaches that uh, we take through a uh, machine learning and we will use the octave genu octave uh, for installation of uh, genu octave on uh, windows operating system we have to go to the wiki page of octave and uh, which is uh, wiki.octave.org don't worry about these links i will put these links uh, into the uh, in video's description and you uh, access it easily and uh, uh, once you access this page uh, let's go and click to here and then you will find um, a package installer uh, installation or package installer for uh, windows here uh, which is octave 4.00 uh, installer.exe this uh, installer installer get downloaded then you will be able to install the genio octave on your operating system I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.